Shalom family, Shalom. Hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. Uh, it's a beautiful Sabbath family, beautiful Sabbath. I want to share with you guys, uh, I, had a, I had a beautiful conversation with my mother last night. And uh, explaining to my mother, you know, who we are according to the Bible. And I've been doing this for a few years trying to explain to my mother. And there was some resistance and, you know, maybe uh, kickback or what have you. You know, even to the point where, you know, uh, I had family, friends, and saying I was in a cult, uh, I was crazy, so on and so forth. And I know a lot of you brothers probably and sisters are going through the same thing or have been through the same thing. But anyway, uh, having this conversation with my mother last night was very humbling because the last few months, my mother and I, we've been able to really sit down and talk. And my mother, she's really listening and she's getting it. You know, now, whether she's going to adhere to everything, that's between her and the Most High. I'm just here to uh, teach those that really want to, that really want to learn, you know. And again, uh, you know, I only know the little things that I know, and I only share the things that I that that, that I that I that I learned. You know, I'm no I'm no ways a a a a teacher. I'm just sharing my experiences. So again, uh, family. You know, but talking to my mother last night, and we talked about you know, you know, my grandmother passed passed some few, a few years ago, and you know, we were born, we was raised Catholic, you know, and uh, so at my grandmother's funeral, looking at the things that the priests were doing, they were actually performing the priestly rituals of the Bible, but they'll tell you that the law is done away with. And now that I see this, it's just mind blowing that the hypocrisy and the lies of these people, you know, these people, they, 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 they're going to do what they're going to do. But anyway, it was just it just mind blowing to see, you know, see the ritual that they're performing, and then going into going into the Bible and reading it, and then to be able to say, hold on, but you say that the laws are done away with, and like, you know, how can the laws be done away with, but you're performing Levitical laws? So anyway, but before we get into that part, family, let me let, let, let's 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 show that the Most High only deal with Israel. So let's go to Psalms. 147, verse 19 and 20. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statute and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the hollow. Let's also go to Psalms 50. Let's go to Psalms 50. <coughs> and we're gonna get a we're gonna get verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So the Most High have made a covenant with the children of Israel by sacrifice. And, you know, just to show you that he have not, he have not dealt with any other nation like he said before. He have not dealt with any other nation. He have dealt with only Israel. And that's the covenant that he made with them through sacrifice. So, if you have not made a covenant with the Most High, you know, he, He's not dealing with you. It, it's just plain and simple. I mean, it, it regardless of what your, your religious uh, leaders tell you, I mean, and we're going to edify that in the, new the, the so-called New Covenant also. But anyway, let's, let's edify this even more. So, let's go to, let's go to, we're still in Psalms 50, let's go to verse 16. But unto the wicked, Allah Hayyim says, what, what hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Or that thou shalt take my covenant in thy mouth. So again, we, we read, we, it's in context. He's telling that he only made a covenant with the people, the saints that he made a covenant with. So let's, let's edify the saints right there. Let's go back to... Let's go back to Psalms 149, and let's get verse 1. one let's start at verse 1. Praise ye Yahweh, sing unto Yahweh a new song, and praise in the congregation of the saints. Let 
Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. So anyway, so let's 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 edify this in the new covenant right fast. Because again, there might be somebody say, well, it's not that's not the new covenant. That's 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 not what Jesus did or Yahweh Shai. You know, who who you ignorantly call Jesus. So let's go to let's go to Psalms. I'll say some Salakia. Let's go to uh, Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews 8, verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day the days come, says Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with them, with their fathers in the days when I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, says Yahweh. For this is the covenant that I will make with them in the house of Israel after those days, says Yahweh. I will put my law, hmm, but the laws are done away with, right? Into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be unto them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Again, it's new covenant. New covenant, right? So he only dealt with the children of Israel. I'm sorry. It is what it is. You don't like it. Take that up with Yahweh when you see him or Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Or who you call Jesus. So let's deal with the Levitical priesthood, what these people were doing. Um, let's go to Numbers. Let's go to Numbers 19. Numbers 19. And let's start off at verse 13. Whosoever touches a dead body, and any man that dieth, of any man that dieth, and purify not himself, defile the tabernacle of Yahweh, and that soul shall be cut off from Israel because the water of separation was not sprinkled upon him. He shall be unclean, his uncleanness shall yet be upon him. This is the law. This is the law. This is the law. When a man dieth in a tent, all, all that cometh into the tent and all that is in the tent shall be unclean seven days. Now here it is. These people tell you the law is done away with in their religious ideology. But there was this man was sprinkling water over the people in the church. Do y'all get that? Do y'all see that? You know, I mean, not only just water, but they also burnt incense. You know, I'm going to see if I could deal with that in a second but I tell you what let's let's get another scripture to edify the uh, the sprinkling of the water let's go to Ezekiel the 36th chapter verse 25 then will I sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean for <clears throat> for all the filth from all the filthiness and from all your idols will I cleanse you Wow. Wow. Now, again, a lot of brothers, there's brothers out there to tell you, well, you don't need to sprinkle the water on that. Y'all follow these people if y'all want to. The Most High just said that, we, we know that Yahweh Shai says that, 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 that not one jot, no tittle of the law shall change. So here it is. That means he have to change that right there. You got to, don't let these guys tell you, you know, you know, the, the, the water is more than just symbolic. It's more than just more than just symbolic, but that would they'll teach you. But anyway, I'm not gonna get get into that. Uh, Salaki so for the plane that's passing over, family. Salaki. So but anyway, let's 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 go to. Uh, let me see if I get a scripture dealing with the incense. Let's go to um, Exodus, like fast. 
Let's go to Exodus 30 and we'll start up at verse 1. And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. Of shittim wood shall thy make it. A cubic shall, shall be the length thereof, thereof, and a cubic the breadth thereof. Four squares shall it be, and two cubics shall be the length thereof. The horn thereof shall be the same. So here it is. They, 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 these people have an altar and they have, they burn incense next to the altar. Matter of fact, the guy was taken and he was on like with some kind of chain and it was waving the incense over the, over the, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, let's see if we can get one more scripture family. If not, uh, we're going to end it there. Okay. We're going to go to, um, let's, Stay in Exodus. Let's go to Exodus 40. And let's go to verse 5. And thou shalt set an altar of gold. And, and now you, you wonder, these people, they, uh, they have these gold cups and all that. I mean, these people are doing a lot of things that the Levitical priest did. You know, but they'll tell you that the Lord's done away with, but they're performing the rituals of the Levitical priest. I mean, it's, it's, it's just mind blowing. But anyway. An altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony, and put the hanging of the door of the tabernacle. And thou shalt set the altar of, of burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the, of the tent of the congregation. And thou shalt set the, the lever between the tent of the congregation of the altar, and shall and shall Put water therein. Okay, I'm not going to read all that, family, but y'all go ahead and read all that, and you'll see how these people, once you once you start seeing the the, the rituals that these these the Catholic uh, uh, Church perform, they get it right out of the Bible, but they'll tell you that the laws are done away with. Now, again, by no stretch, by no means, I'm telling you to follow these people. Not not at all. What I'm telling you is. The rituals that they're performing, they're getting it out of the Bible. And these are the rituals that the children of Israel are going to have to perform for the Most High. You know what I'm saying? That's why we, we, we are learning uh, because the Most High, He has a way to do things. And again, you know, that's why Yahweh Shai is going to come back and teach us. Because we have, we have taken upon so much filthiness in His captivity. It's, it's just amazing. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cut it right there, family, because cause by now, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure a, a lot of you got the gist of it, beginning to make sense. You know, I'll tell you what, let me let me get this one more scripture. Let me get one more scripture that just came across my mind. Um, you know, while I, was, while I was on this subject. Let's go to Leviticus. We're, we're going to stay in Exodus. So, so like, let's stay in Exodus. We're going to stay in Exodus. We're going to get the 19th chapter. And we're going to go to verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words uh, which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Okay. So again, and if you go to Revelations, the 5th chapter, it says the same thing. So, to understand, overstand, or even understand the new covenant, you have to read the old covenant. Like how Yahweh Shai said, he come not to destroy the law, but to fulfill the law. But anyway, that's a whole other subject within itself right there. So family, I hope you got it. I hope it makes sense. With that being said, hey, as usual, peace, love, shalom.